Hello guys, in today's video we're going to check out the best sound bars in 2020. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability and more. If you want to see their price and find out more information about them, you can check out the links in the description below. Let's get started. Number 5. JBL Bar 2.1 Best Under $200 as time goes by, more and more people are looking for cheap solutions to improve their audio performance for their brand new TV. And as things are right now, the simplest and easiest way to do that is to get yourself a soundbar. And while this category of audio devices is still relatively new compared to other home theatre equipment, we've seen a lot of progress the last few years, with performance improving and prices dragged down by the fierce competition. Despite having a similar name, the JBL Bar 2.1 Deep Bass is separate from and doesn't replace the earlier JBL Bar 2.1, and it offers different features including a new sub and simpler remote control. The main speaker is small, a popsicle stick-shaped 28-inch bar clad in the company's customary gunmetal grey. It has a set of controls on top for volume, power and source, and the grille-covered front includes an LED readout which is relatively easy to comprehend especially compared to Vizios. The JBL Bar 2.1, being a low-budget 2.1-channel system, doesn't have either the hardware nor the software to render any of the newer object-oriented tracks like Dolby Atmos and DTS-X, so we'll have to settle with the good old Dolby Digital and DTS Core variants. The Bar 2.1 may be a 2.1-channel unit with just 300 watts of power, but for a small living room or media area, it's ideal as it can offer a far better performance than what a TV would ever be able to. Number 4. Vizio V51H6 – Best for the Money The Vizio V51H6 is good for mixed usage. It has a balanced, neutral sound profile that's suitable for a range of audio content, and the subwoofer adds extra boom and punch that's well suited for action flicks or bass-heavy music genres. The Vizio V51H6 comes with two satellite speakers, which are mostly made of plastic with fabric covering the front and the sides. Its dedicated centre channel can reproduce vocal-heavy content like TV shows and podcasts clearly and accurately. The bar itself isn't incredibly different from recent sound bars that have sat on my media stand. At 36 inches long, it's just 2 inches shorter than the Sony HTG700. It has all the basic elements that make for a good surround setup. The front stage effectively captures action scenes, the rear speakers add adequate immersion, and the sub, while only rated down to 50 Hz, has rumbled enough to elicit a random bark from my previously deeply asleep dog. I was pleasantly surprised with music listening too, as the Vizio bar produced a generally warm sound that was balanced enough to be enjoyable. You really can't get true 5.1 sound at this price anywhere else. Number 3 JBL Bar 9.1 Best for Movies or Games The JBL Bar 9.1 soundbar might be expensive, but it delivers powerful, thunderous audio with detachable rear channels for an immersive listening experience. Until someone invents detachable wireless speakers that stick to the ceiling, this is as easy as Dolby Atmos surround sound gets. The main bar is a practical 88cm across, and at just 6.2cm high, it's short enough to sit at the feet of most TVs without obscuring the screen. The removable rear speakers on each end are attached by a set of good, strong magnets. When docked, they charge up their 10-hour battery over the course of three hours, during which they'll still operate if you're watching TV or listening to music. Detach them with a firm tug, though, and the fun begins. At 17 centimetres tall, they're ideal for popping on a solid surface such as a table just over a metre off the floor. They're wired and wireless connections for the internet, a choice of optical or EARC HDMI HDCP 2.3 for source connections, plus an HDMI in for 4K pass-through, which is also Dolby Vision compatible. The JBL Bar 9.1 is a powerhouse. It's a pricey sound bar at $1,000, but you also get an immersive wireless rear channel experience with Dolby Atmos, a powerful sub that can be easily adjusted, and a remote that makes it easy to switch between sources. We'd like to see better EQ options for the price, and you can argue that a properly calibrated wider soundbar with a sub can provide similarly immersive audio for a similar or lower price, but there's little to complain about here. Number 2. Bose Soundbar 700 – Best for Music 
The Bose Soundbar 700 looks smart, sounds smart and actually is smart thanks to the inclusion of both Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant. However, a lack of HDMI inputs, no Atmos or DTS-X support and a glass top that reflects the TV screen isn't quite so smart at this price. The Bose Soundbar 700 certainly looks like a high-end speaker with a sleek and stylish cabinet and a superb level of build quality. There's a perforated wraparound aluminium grille combined with a tempered glass top and a choice of glossy black or arctic white. Although it's a soundbar, the Soundbar 700 is also a capable wireless smart speaker. As such, the setup process is guided by Bose's music app. The Soundbar 700 can be connected to your TV via HDMI arc or an optical cable. Because the speaker is limited to Dolby Digital and DTS audio signal, there's no benefit from a sound quality perspective to choosing one over the other. The Bose Soundbar 700 sounds terrific and unlike several other soundbars we've tested, it handles TV soundtrack audio and streaming music equally well. I'd wager that even if your home is palatial in proportions, there isn't a room in your house the Soundbar 700 can't completely fill with sound. The Bose Soundbar 700 is a fantastic one-speaker solution for simple yet exhilarating home theatre sound. With optional subwoofer and surround speaker modules, it can grow with your needs as long as those needs don't include Dolby Atmos. Number 1. Samsung Q90R – Best High-End Soundbar Ultimately, the Samsung HWQ90R is a superb soundbar, and when it comes to Dolby Atmos and DTS-X, it's unmatched. If you want to add immersive audio to your living room but don't want the complexity and mess of installing a 9-channel AV receiver and 5.1.4 speaker system, then the Samsung is the ideal alternative. The difference in performance compared to any other Dolby Atmos DTS-X soundbar is quite profound because without the addition of the surrounds and rear height channels, all the immersive audio effects are focused at the front of the room. The HWQ90 isn't cheap, but to get a system approaching this level of performance would require buying a minimum 9-channel AV receiver and a 5.1.4 speaker package. The chances are that such a system would cost at least as much as the Samsung system, and it wouldn't be as easy or unobtrusive to install. There are some handy additional features like smart things, Amazon voice control and adaptive sound, while the system itself looks nice and is very well made. The adaptive sound mode is skillful at teasing more detail out of the soundtrack, but tends to work best with sports broadcasts or dialogue-driven programming. For something like The Expanse, the surround mode is a good choice because it upmixes the soundtrack to use the overhead channels, creating a more enveloping experience. At first glance, the Samsung HWQ90R appears rather expensive for a soundbar, However, once you consider its capabilities, you start to realise it offers surprising value. If you wanted to build an equivalent 5.1.4 channel system using separates, you'd find it hard to achieve for less than the cost of this soundbar speaker sub combo. Buying Guide IR Sensors Assuming you want to be able to control your TV, you do, you'll need to be careful where you place a soundbar. Typically, soundbars sit directly below your TV, even mounted on the wall, if that's where the TV is. But if you're using an entertainment stand, you don't want the soundbar sitting on it in front of the TV's infrared or IR sensor, which is where the remote control sends its signal. Connections Many manufacturers still expect you to use your TV to switch among devices. For a long time, this involved using an optical output between the TV and the speaker, but the increasing prevalence of HDMI soundbars means you now have a choice between the two input types. The idea is you connect all your home theatre devices directly to the TV, then connect your TV's HDMI arc, audio return channel or optical output to the soundbar. It's a simple overall design since you only have to switch inputs using your TV remote. Voice Assistant Many soundbars have an option for voice control. Some are compatible with Alexa or Google Home, meaning you'll need an Echo or Google device to use the voice control features, while others have that functionality built right in. Voice control a little too sci-fi for you? Most soundbars let you use your TV remote to make basic adjustments, and if your phone isn't ever more than an arm's length away, opt for a bar with app control.